Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with another layout using the October Hip Kits. So I'm going to start with a piece of 12 by 12 watercolor paper that I have applied some gesso to. And then I have this scrap of a piece of, I think it's the Pebbles paper, and I had punched it with my notebook punch. So I'm going to use that as one of the layering pieces. I'm just trying to figure out the layers here. This lay layout is going to be like a centered picture and then just some embellishments around it and I was going to do some kind of watercolor background um, just a little bit larger than than the picture and I'm just loving these colors the kind of rusty orange and the peach and I love the way that they look with the black and white and I'm like very carefully using that black and white stripe pattern paper because I just love the way that it looks so I'm just kind of figuring out how to build this and it's going to be a little bit larger than a normal photo cluster because like I said or layering of the photo because it's going to be the main focus like the biggest part of the layout which usually the photo is but sometimes I use smaller photos this is pretty much a traditional four by six photo maybe a little bit smaller so that's kind of where I'm going with it and I'm going to take the Prima watercolor pencils that come in the color kit and I'm going to use I think I start with using a water brush but then I switch to using a regular paintbrush just because it's taking too long so I'm going to add some water first to the paper just to have a place for the color to move and I'm because I'm not using that much water with the water brush it doesn't put out very much and I'm just touching the end of the pencil to the brush and then that's how I'm getting the color down and you can do this with a water brush or a regular paintbrush or anything really and like I said I'm just kind of framing the photograph is what I'm trying to do here and I can't remember what this color is it's the third color in um, I did draw a little bit and see how that worked but I didn't I didn't like the result of it as much as I like the result of using the end of the pencil with the brush and then also, if you just kind of flick your brush really fast over the top of the pencil, it creates these really cool splatters. So that's how I got that splatter effect kind of on the diagonal of the layout that you'll see better in when it's closer up in the end photos. And I'm going to apologize now for my photographs at the end. They're not as good as they usually are because it's been raining here for two days and it's so hard to get the lighting right on a photograph if you're not using natural light. I have a really hard time using artificial light and getting a picture of my project to look the way I want it to. So I'm taking this little, it's like an embroidery loop that you would use for like cross stitching, but it's a wood veneer and it fits perfectly on any of these little images in this cut apart page. So I'm going to use this little deer head or stag head and I just went ahead and glued the frame over the image and then put an acrylic block over it to let it dry and then I'll just cut around it. So for some reason on these Dear Lizzie thickers my hello didn't have an O it just said hell <laughs> and so I cut the O off of our because I didn't know if I would use the that word and added it to the end of hello because I wanted it to say hello and my child's going to be hello fall puppy because this is our puppy Ellie and if you've been watching for a while then you've been watching her grow in all these pictures and she is almost six months she's like yeah almost six months so this is one of the more recent pictures of I've taken of her and I try to take pictures every month just to document like how fast she's growing because she's getting so big and I'm going to use the Dear Lizzie Gold Thickers. I really like these thickers. Um, and I'm going to end up having to adjust that. Now, I have some glue in this little fine line bottle. And it's like the it's the one that everyone talks about, the Scotch Quick Dry Glue. I don't know if it's a bottle I have or what, but that stuff does not work. Like, I tried to glue this, that paper onto the photo. And it, it I ended up just picking it right up like 10 minutes later because it wasn't even close to dry or sticking. I went ahead and added these couple of arrows, that one from Pink Paisley up in the top left. I love, love that arrow. It comes in um, a pack of, I think, six you get. And then the one on the bottom right-hand corner is from the ephemera pack. Now, I'm taking these stickers from the Jen Hadfield line, and they're like little laurels that they look like. And I I notice when I do this that this, the title is not centered, so I have to recenter it. 
and that pretty much finishes the layout. I had a couple more little details. I had some circles to the background because um, I kind of wanted some other circular elements besides just the deer head. So thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.